All right, so here's another reason why I love Google search. I can search for almost anything. So here you see I'm looking up Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Then I have all of these great websites, and that's what it says right here, web. Well, I don't want websites. I want an actual news article from the time period in which he was assassinated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to news. And boy, I have a lot of news here. I have something from two hours ago, uh, 10 hours ago. This isn't going to help me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to search tools. And you'll notice that this additional bar comes up and I'm going to choose any time. So I get to choose the time period in which I'm looking for the news article or the news in which Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is mentioned. I'm going to come down here to custom range. This way I can tell it exactly which dates to look at. So I'm going to go in April of 1968 to, I don't know, let's say May of 1968. So I'll give it a two month period to look at and I press go. Look at all of these really great news articles you can see from April 5th, 1968, April 9th, 1968. I'm going to choose this one when he's going to be buried. So it says, Dr. Martin Luther King will be buried Tuesday. This is an actual newspaper article from that time. And you can see over here on the right that I can move the window screen down to see, to continue, to see what else there was. This is a really great tool for your students to actually look up and see what occurred on certain dates in history.